Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Most High God. Blessed afternoon to you all. Hallelujah. It's another glorious day. I am here again to encourage us. I am here to encourage us again with the word of God, which I tie to the season we are. Hallelujah. What are the season that we are? What are we doing? What are we preparing for? The old world is talking about this season. Everybody is preparing, buying and uh, disbuying and the others. Uh, the old world talk about this day. Everybody is ready, looking forward for it. Uh, what is the season that we are? What is happening in this season? Uh, hallelujah. What are you celebrating in this season? Are you celebrating the 25th of December? Or you're celebrating the reason for the season? What are you celebrating? When the season for the reason is taken away, it is no longer Christmas, it becomes mass. So Christ is no longer there. So the reason for the season is Lord, as our Lord Jesus. Uh, and when the Lord is taken for the season, uh, then the season is no longer what we call it to be. So this makes me to ask, uh, what are you celebrating? Uh, are you celebrating the Messiah or you're celebrating the day 25th? Uh, because what you celebrate, uh, they tell me what the season is to you. By the time you know what you're celebrating, uh, that is what made the difference. Uh, so what are you celebrating? The season or the reason for the season. Hallelujah. Let's pray as we continue. Glorious Father, and I thank you again for this hour. Thank you for this opportunity you're giving to us again, oh God. Uh, Lord, as I speak your word again, oh God. Uh, Father, as everyone that listen to the sound of my voice, oh God, give them the revelation of this word. Uh, thank you for this revelation, oh God. Uh, that this word fulfill the purpose you send it, oh God. Uh, Father in heaven, for as many that are still celebrating uh, the season, oh God, uh, give them the revelation concerning the reason for this season, uh, that they will know, oh God. Uh, and their Lord, uh, their way of celebrating it will be different. Uh, because Lord King of glory, you are the reason for the season. Uh, give them this revelation so that, Lord, uh, this season, oh God, souls will be saved to your glory in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' glorious name I have prayed. Uh, amen and amen. Hallelujah. So, what are we celebrating? Uh, hallelujah. You know, I keep saying, uh, this season, everybody, uh, you know, if you go to the supermarket, the only thing you hear now, it's Christmas and Christmas and Christmas, Christmas here, Christmas here, and Christmas everywhere. In everywhere you go, the children, the adults, everybody is just talking about it. Uh, and this makes me to start talking about it also. And I want to talk about it. Uh, it's good to talk about it. Uh, you know? So the question is uh, what are you celebrating? Are you celebrating the season or you're celebrating the reason for the season? Uh, Hallelujah. Christ is the reason for the season. Uh, then if you don't know, a few days ago, I asked somebody, uh, I said, are you ready for this Christmas? Uh, he said, no, I have something to buy. I have not, I have not finished buying the things. Uh, wow. I said, what says you want to buy? And he began to name them. Uh, people are spending money for this season. Uh, wow, it's not a bad thing to spend money. And I said, uh, after she finished naming all oh, she wants to she wants to buy and i ask her i say what are you celebrating it's a christmas so, okay there's no doubt about that uh, then i said what is christmas what are you celebrating in christmas what is christmas all about and she said oh oh <laughs> do you know that the unbelievers celebrate christmas more than the believers he said, oh, oh. He said, what are you, what is Christmas? What are you celebrating on that day? What are you celebrating? And he said, uh, uh, baby Jesus. <laughs> he celebrate baby Jesus. I said, okay. I don't want to scare her. I don't want to scare that away. And I said, okay. You celebrating baby Jesus. I said, he said, yeah. I said, do you know Jesus? Do you know him? 
Let's, I don't want to scare, scare her by saying baby Jesus. We are taking step by step. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to scare her because I'm going to somewhere. She said baby Jesus. I said, okay, do you know this Jesus? And the answer, you can imagine the answer to that. No, she does not know Jesus. So she is celebrating the season, not the reason. And when you're celebrating the, the season, not the reason, you're lost. And I, I ask her the question again. I say, it's going to say, continue. It's going to, I'm going to make it a series. I told her, we're going to make it a series. Uh, because we'll start, we'll keep talking about it that day. And I said, okay. How is it like? I said, okay. If it is, like you said, this baby, the, the, the day of, the birth of baby Jesus, as you said. Okay, let's say, baby, the birth is the birth day. He said, yes. I said, okay, how is it going to be like? I'm celebrating your birthday and I did not know you. What is all like? What is it? Is it like I'm celebrating your birthday, but I don't know you? And she was like, "Uh oh, this one is not good." <laughs> and I'm not listening. I'm the one that said. I'm not the one that said it is not good. She said that this one is not good. <laughs> She's judging herself. I'm not judging. We are not called to judge. We are called to make people to know what are you celebrating now. Are you celebrating the day or you're celebrating the reason now? Because what you know makes the difference. Now. Because if you know what the season is all about, that make you prepare better for it. That make you celebrate it uh, in a different way. Now. You know, people say that Christmas is not biblical. There is no way it is written that Jesus was born on the 25th. Uh, it is not written. And at the same time, it is not bad if we celebrate because we celebrate it uh, in a different way. It's not about eating and drinking. Uh, it's not about buying clothes, buying gifts. Uh, no, it's not all about this. Uh, it's about knowing what you are doing on that day. Are you celebrating the day? And I want to quickly read that. Uh, start by reading the book of. Uh, let me start by the, the book of Daniel. Let's start from there. Daniel. The book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21. Let's start there. I'm not going to finish it today because we are still in the season. We are not true. So, not until we are true from the season, we'll be talking about it. Like, I'm not the only one talking about it. The whole world uh, is talking about it. So, I just want to join the talking about it. Uh, there's nothing wrong in talking about it. Uh, hallelujah. But me, I'm talking about it because I want people to know what they are doing. What side are you? Are you the, on this side or on the other side? Uh, Daniel chapter 2 verse 21. Hallelujah. It says uh, verse 21 says uh, it says, it changed times and season. Uh, it disposes kings and raises up order. It gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to the discriminator. It changes time and season. So, knowing the season that you are, knowing the time that you are, knowing what you're doing in this season, knowing what you ought to do in this season, it makes a big difference. Knowing the time that you are, it makes you to prepare better for it. What is the season that you are? As the old world is saying, there's a season that the Lord, well, the Lord, our Lord Jesus, the Messiah, was born. Uh, it's the season where the the, the flesh uh, and the, the the God and God reincarnated. Uh, it's a season where God uh, come to this world uh, and become a man. Uh, because before Jesus was born, uh, he exists already. The book of John told us uh, in the John chapter one verse one. He said, "In the beginning." Sorry, everything that was created from the beginning was created through him. He has been existing. Uh, but the season that we celebrate uh, is when he decides to come as man, uh, where he comes to, 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 the, to the edge as man. Uh, that is the season that we are. Then if you know this, uh, it makes you to prepare for it. Uh, it makes you, are you preparing for it? Listen, uh, when you know the reason, when you celebrate the season for the reason, uh, is, you don't prepare for it like the world prepare for it. Uh, you don't go out there to think about what to buy, what not to buy. No, you think about how to make the difference. Uh, you think about how to give uh, the world. Uh, you think about how to make the, those in darkness uh, 
come out of that darkness. Uh, you think about uh, how souls will be saved. Uh, you think about how to make them uh, know what they are celebrating. Uh, that is what makes the difference. It's not about talking about it. I was discussing with somebody the other day. Now uh, he told me he said e Christmas is about drinking. Uh, yes, uh, you see some people they drink and uh, they they keep they soak theirself inside drink inside, inside drink. They soak themselves because all the name of we are celebrating. Uh, those are the ones that they celebrated the season for the reason. He is the reason for the season. Uh, and when the reason for the season is taken away from the season, uh, then it is no longer the Christmas that you call. It becomes the season that you decide uh, that you want. Uh, they, it becomes you are celebrating the day, uh, not the reason. Uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, when Christ is removed from Christmas, uh, it becomes mass, no longer Christmas. Uh, so what are you celebrating? Hallelujah. What are you celebrating? Let us also see the book of uh, the book of Romans. Romans chapter Romans chapter 1 verse 25. Romans 1:25. Hallelujah. Then I will go to if time permits me, I'll go to Romans 20, 14 again. But let's start from Romans chapter 1 verse 25 what did it say Romans chapter 1 verse 25 says it said they exchange the truth about God for the lie and worship the worship and serve created things uh, rather than the creator who is forever praised amen they exchange uh, they exchange the truth about God uh, for lie that is what people want to hear they don't want to hear the truth uh, the bible says they exchange the truth uh, of god to lie uh, and they worship uh, they worship and serve created things uh, so when you celebrate the day not the messiah then you are worshiping uh, you are serving uh, the things uh, that god created uh, no god itself and that is what people do this season uh, they celebrate the day now uh, somebody say they celebrate the baby jesus uh, my jesus was born in a mega but he's no longer there he's no longer a baby he has grown up uh, he died uh, and he left the heads and go back to, his, to where he belongs uh, he's no longer baby jesus as they call him uh, he's no longer there so just imagine if you are still celebrating baby my God, you're celebrating the created things uh, more than the one that created things. That is what the world celebrated today. Now, uh, and it's, it, it makes me to love uh, how people are dying in ignorance uh, and they are celebrating, preparing, doing every, every lot of things uh, for this day, and yet uh, they don't know the reason. Uh, why they are doing it uh, they don't know the reason uh, it's just like you're going to someone's birthday party uh, and you don't know the person they're celebrating uh, you don't know the person you're just celebrating the birthday for the person uh, without knowing you know that yes of course it is it happened that they invite you for a birthday but i'm talking about you celebrating the birthday for the person and yet you don't know the person that is what people do this season they prepare for what they don't know ignorance but if you know the reason and you're celebrating you see that your reason of celebrating is different you see that when you celebrate the reason for the season you celebrate it with joy there is this inner joy that is in you because you know what you're celebrating every day is our christmas as a believer every day is our christmas Yes, yes, the world creates one day to be because we know. By the time you know the reason uh, what you're celebrating, uh, there are a lot of questions. Then how you, do you celebrate it? There are a lot of questions when you know the reason. What relationship do you have with him? Uh, these are the ones I'm going to talk about next week by the grace of God. Uh, but they tell you know the reason. Uh, what relationship do you, do, do, you, do, do, do you have with him? How much do you know him? It's a time of reflection also. It's a time of examining yourself. Uh, you're celebrating the Messiah. Do you know the Messiah? Do you have a personal relationship with him? 
How much do you love him? I want to read uh, Romans chapter 14. I will stop there. I'm reading Romans chapter 14. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 14. I'll just read verse 5 to 5, verse 5 to 8. Romans 14. Let's see. And someone will say, What does this have to do with it? A lot to do. Let's see it. What it says. Uh, Romans chapter 14, verse 5 to 8. Uh, it says, uh, one person consider one day more sacred than another. Another consider every day alike. Uh, each of them should be fully convinced in their own mind. Uh, whoever regards one day as special does so to the Lord. Uh, whoever eats means does so to the Lord. Uh, for they give thanks to God. And whoever abstains does so, does so to the Lord uh, and give thanks to God. For none of us lives for ourselves alone. And none of us die for ourselves alone. If we live, if if we live, uh, we live for the Lord. Uh, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So, whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Uh, that is the reason uh, what I want to talk about. Uh. So, if you live, uh, you live for the Lord. So, you're living today, you live or you die. It ought to be for God, uh, not empty. So if you live and die for the Lord, uh, then it means uh, that is the reason you're celebrating. You are in Christ. But outside this one, you are empty. You're lost. So which means you're not in the Lord. Uh, which means uh, you're celebrating Christmas empty. Which means uh, you're celebrating 25th, uh, not the reason. So if your thoughts and your reasoning, your thinking means uh, that if I live, I am living for Christ. Uh, that makes you to celebrate the 25th difference. Who is Jesus to you if you celebrate uh, the reason? Who is him to you? If you're celebrating the Messiah. So this call for reflection, did I really know him? Who is it to me? What position does it take in my life? Is it number one? Is it the center of my existence? Or I am seeing him from a distance. That is what people do. They see Jesus from the distance. Just imagine on his own bed day as we claim to be. He's locked outside. He's not inside his own ass. And we are celebrating him. He's not in there. Because as long as he's not in, he's not in you. He's outside the door of your celebration. So he must be the center of, the, of our existence, of our celebration. So the season that we are, what are you doing in this season? What are you celebrating? Are you celebrating the raising? Or are you celebrating the season? I ask again, are you celebrating the season? Or are you celebrating the reason for the season? I'll conclude on this by the grace of your next May the Lord bless his soul into our heart in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a glorious day. Amen.